Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott. Yo, Cal L. I didn't hear no bell. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fabulous edition of Great Scott. I'm Scotty V. Thanks for watching. We've seen that the CEO of Warner Brothers has come out this week and announced that Warner Brothers will be releasing 12 to 14 films a year moving forward and that the foundation, whatever that means, of that grouping of films will be uh, movies from DC Entertainment. Uh, what this means, of course, is that soon, and he said this at the end of his little announcement, uh, we will hear more announcements <laughs> of what these films are going to be. But first up, and this has been omitted from most of the stories that you will read, um, it got out, it wasn't supposed to, uh, they're trying to wait till the right time, just like they're waiting for the right time to announce Brian Cranston as Lex Luthor uh, until after the series is over. <sighs> they're not exactly sure when they're going to do it. It might be um, after Expendables 3 gets finished filming so that there isn't any hassling on the set. They feel like um, with the announcement of Ben Affleck playing Batman and all the rigor this has caused and the death threats and the calls to the president and the asks, uh, you know, people asking to have this revoked, uh, to have Ben Affleck taken out of the movie. Uh, they don't want to distract from what they believe is going to be a very successful continuing franchise in The Expendables. What am I getting at? Sylvester Stallone has been tapped to play Darkseid in the Justice League movie, which will be Gin filming right after uh, what we now know as Batman versus Superman. According to Warner Brothers CEO, I won't even attempt to uh, pronounce his name right now, uh, he says that um, this is the next project after Batman versus Superman, and he, he, he called the upcoming Batman Superman movie Batman versus Superman, which may or may not be the title. Um, uh, my understanding is they don't yet even have a finished script or a, or a completed story idea. There are ideas floating around. They're working on the script. They're working on casting. They've got some things that they're going to do. Uh, but this could be the title, and coming from the Warner Brothers CEO, a lot of people are figuring that this is what the title is. Uh, there are very few people, uh, those who were in on the announcement when they were there, when the announcement was made, that, that know about this Justice League move, and, and people have been clamoring for Dark Side and a Justice League movie for quite some time. Um, uh, Sylvester Stallone is known as a uh, muscle-bound uh, action star, so I'm certain that he can handle whatever, um, you know, uh, pumping out uh, um, uh, missions are required for this movie. Um, I imagine that, that when this gets out, it will be, uh, it will spark quite the controversy. Uh, Sylvester Stallone is a beloved American icon, but he's not always been known as the greatest actor in the world. Now, I will say this, when he wrote the script for Rocky, which was his probably his most well-known piece of work, and he wrote it, a lot of people don't know that, he uh, shopped it around to many, many studios, and, and everybody was interested, but what they weren't interested in was uh, his contention that he must play Rocky. Uh, he wrote it, he wrote it for himself, he always intended to play the role, and uh, when people turned him down uh, to be the star, he walked out of the studio. And it wasn't until he found, uh, I guess it was United Artists, uh, uh, you know, toward the end of his process, that they agreed to let him play it. And of course, it won many awards, it was up for many others, and uh, the film is a classic to this day. It's right up there with The Godfather and, and Gone with the Wind and, and, and famous American movies that people cite over and over again. So, uh, much like my contention that Ben Affleck could certainly do a great job as, as Batman and has the acting chops to do it, even though a lot of people are saying he doesn't, I think that those people haven't seen The Town and, and, and haven't seen Argo and aren't aware of his directing duties and aren't aware of how he's grown as he uh, moves into his 40s. Um, I think he'll be great. Uh, what I'm still concerned about is the movie. Uh, we don't know if it's Batman versus Superman, if it's Superman versus Batman. Does the versus mean they're actually going to duke it out? Um, does it mean that we're going to have to believe 
that the same Man of Steel who took down an entire squadron of superpowered Kryptonians is actually going to uh, have some sort of a challenge in fighting a man in a bat suit, even if it's an armored bat suit, even if they introduce Kryptonite in the movie. You know, um, in The Dark Knight Returns, the Frank Miller book, uh, Batman had other heroes uh, shooting him with Kryptonite arrows. Superman had been exposed to radiation. Superman had been under the cloud ash cover of the um, atomic explosion that went on. So there were a lot of excuses as to why Superman was weakened, and yet Batman still wasn't able to win. So he faked his own death and all that jazz, and Superman was happy to find out at the end that it was a fake, and that it was the same old Bruce, and that uh, his, his longtime friend who had become enemy, frenemy in this movie, had survived. So we're still trying to, you know, hash it out. We're still trying to guess. We're still rumor mongering, uh, you know, lots of rumors jumping around, everybody saying everything that they can say, coming up with all kinds of ways it could be. It could be an intellectual versus, it could be a morality versus, it could be, is this guy really a danger? Uh, is there any way he could have limited the destruction? Is he the one we got to watch out for? And Batman on the sidelines, in the background, in the Batcave, checking it out. Find you know investigating, uh, not knowing what he's going to do if he finds out it is, but maybe then uh, working with the government or looking toward possibly working with the government to come up with a way to uh, eliminate this threat. Should uh, Man of Steel, the Man of Steel, actually become the threat that everybody would be worried about that he could be? We could also have a Lex Luthor, Bruce Wayne teaming up type of thing until. Uh, the Man of Steel uh, exposes or talks to Bruce Wayne or talks to Batman and they find out that Lex Luthor is actually the threat or something along those lines in order to build Metropolis. You know, they have money, they're two conglomerates coming together. Who knows what it's going to be? I don't even think the filmmakers know. So all of this speculation of what's going to go on is is fun, and we'll do it for the next couple of years until the movie comes out. And, and now with the announcement of uh, Stallone as Dark Side, we do know the villain for the Dark Side movie, and we do know that uh, for the for the Justice League movie, and we do know that Justice League is on its way. Something that that many people have been hoping for. It's going to be the next movie on the slate, and uh, then rumor is that Flash is going to come after that, and uh, hopefully Wonder Woman. And uh, we'll see what else comes out of this. But uh, until we hear more. Um, it's pretty exciting news. We, uh, as we said, we, we know that now there's going to be an ongoing uh, continuation of this movie universe uh, created in Man of Steel, which even if we don't get a proper Man of Steel sequel right away, we at least know that the Man of Steel universe has set into motion this shared universe where now Batman's going to come and now um, Justice League will come out of that with uh, with Darkseid and, and, and Sylvester Stallone as Darkseid. Who knows how that's going to go. But it's pretty exciting, and uh, it is an official announcement that uh, out of the 12 to 14, the foundation of that is going to be DC film. So that seems to mean that at least the majority, if you broke it down percentage-wise, will be DC-related. That could be two to three, and then the rest uh, will be other random properties. But since those two to three are related to DC Entertainment, that would still be the largest percentage uh, coming out of the 12 to 14 being DC Entertainment related properties. So, uh, I mean, I'm pretty excited. I'm a little, you know, I'm a little nervous about a number of things. But, uh, you know, uh, until next time, everybody, remember... <laughs>